Hello and welcome back Guardians, another video. <clears throat> Today we're um, doing the Forge and pretty much what I used was the um, Titan Solar Class Top Tree with um, Melting Point and my guns, Hand Cannon, Midnight Coop, Eclair Shotgun and I used the, um, the Whisper of the Worm. <clears throat> Actually the Whisper is a pretty good weapon here to defeat the boss. Just to a quick example like the three of us we weren't in a party chat it was just a random group that I joined on just to do it and <clears throat> to be fair the the first round that's actually it's not that bad six six ten the enemy so um, it, it's not that bad uh, they 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 just they don't hurt a lot and at this point I was six ten myself um, I will highly suggest that if you're trying to do this have some good high DPS weapons for example, a shotgun. Um, I use the hand cannon because it's just two taps or three taps enemies. Uh, the docks is probably just one tap, so they're not even that bad. Um, <clears throat> if you're going for a weapon where you have to shoot a lot, th these enemies can actually melt you down. Like, and another thing you want to keep in mind is that don't group up a lot. If you group up a lot, you're actually setting it up in a way for the enemies to actually group up on you to where if you don't have a super you're gonna find yourself in a bit of trouble um, as you can see the first time you need to uh, throw in uh, 20 batteries radiant batteries uh, second time on the second round you're gonna do the same thing 20 again but the first round you get uh, a full minute to actually start this off or yeah um, each time you throw in a bomb you also extend your timer like not extend it as in get more time but um, it, it just stops the timer and you can just continue uh, well if you stop throwing in batteries um, <clears throat> yeah that's basically where you're setting it up that the timer could going down and down and down so if you want to be quick with this if you if you feel like you and your team just keep failing, I really highly suggest just like just go on and, and you know do the last wish raid, do anything in the dreaming city, do your um, try try to get do anything that will level you up to get to a decent light level where this is not that hard. Because um, right now, if you anything around six, I would say six hundred to um, six seven six eight, this could be tough. Um, the two teammates I teamed up with, they were 6-7 and 6-8. Uh, they still managed to do it, which was actually pretty incredible uh, that they still managed to do it. It's um, it's not one of the easiest thing ever. Uh, obviously, if you're skillful, you know exactly what you're doing in Destiny, then this doesn't matter to you. Like You already know how to uh, dodge your enemies, where to hide, what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, if, um, if this becomes really hard, Try not to waste your time doing this because this will probably, you'll spend so much time just trying and trying and trying to hit that one thing and you'll find out in the end pretty much what you get is um, a heavy weapon that, that's going to level you up maybe one-ish I would say, not more than one light level. So yeah, just spending in hours and hours in here it's it's probably a bad idea unless unless you know like okay um you have uh you, you got nothing else to do um you've already leveled up everything possibly which should actually bring you to a good six oh nine ten at least i'd say um even leveling up a second character wouldn't be that bad because you level up your second character you can switch over your guns will make you a higher light level uh, so you can eventually do it on both characters, but um, yeah, pretty much that's all the advice I got um, for you guys. In the end, we'll group up uh, in a spot where, <clears throat> well, basically there, there's nothing spawning in your bag. That doesn't mean it makes it easier because the enemies can still come up close to you. But uh, yes, if you're like we were all using Whisper, so it, in a way it did make it easy for us to snipe out the the boss. Um, also on the boss, uh, you'll notice that the boss will spawn in, he's gonna have his shield around him, you have to shoot the four ghosts off to get the shield off. As long as one person keep damaging the boss, he will not put up a shield. But the second that everyone just stop um, shooting the boss, 
Doesn't matter like how low his health is, he's gonna spawn in his shield again. You're gonna have to go and you know <clears throat> try to get his shield down, um, in which you'll probably waste time. And there's no timer, that, and there's nothing in the game that will extend the timer once you're on the boss. So, yeah, pretty much that's all the advice I got. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you do, I like, uh, I like, much appreciate it, and I will see you guys on my next video.